Greetings folks, I want to take a look at some of the different options for audio in a multicam video. Okay, so we'll just start with my normal process and let's take these clips. So basically I've got a clip of audio and five clips here recorded in the studio with the kind of studio sound which we don't want to use. But, however, you might have like interview clips or something like that with sound from different cameras that you do want to use, okay? So, um, this works for all kinds of different clips, uh, but we'll use this as an example, okay? So, normally what I'd do in most instances, I'd select these, I'd do, um, I'd do create multi-camera source sequence, okay? And I'm going to call this one um, song, uh, and I'm going to do... a. Uh, master audio I'll call this okay and going through the what I normally have it set to the kind of default setting in here this is the the bit we want to do is uh, sequence settings camera one automatic so this is what you have most of the time okay so I hit okay Okay, so now I've got a multi-camera clip here. I can uh, right-click on that, and I can just do new sequence from clip, or I could also just drag the clip onto the little new item icon. Does the same thing. Go over to the uh, spanner on your program window, and choose multi-camera. Okay, and there's you've got your your clips. Okay. Right. Okay, I'll just turn for better playback. I'll turn high quality playback off. And often just, you know, for to ease the pressure on the computer, just turn the resolution down. Okay, so now as I'm playing this back, I'll turn it down a little more. There we go. As it's playing back, I can switch cameras. And what's going to happen is it's going to switch between the cameras, but it's going to leave the audio as the uh, as the audio file. If you look, if I right click here on the clip and choose open in timeline, you can see what's going on inside here. It's taken the, the, the audio file that's just an audio file, and that's the file, of course, with the good recording. And, and it's using that and it's muting all the other tracks and only switching the video. Okay, now what if I've got tracks and I want to, as I switch the video, also switch the audio. So let's just go into this bin and redo this. I'm going to select these. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose multi-camera source sequence. And now I'm going to go for the um, next option. Okay. Um, switch audio, sorry. So, so the third option, let's take a look at this one first. Switch audio. Okay. So here we go. I'll create a new sequence. So this looks just the same. Okay. But you'll hear now that as I play this back, okay, it's going with the audio. Whatever camera I choose. Okay, and let me just zoom in on that. You can see um, it's switching between cameras. Okay, so a, a little thing, a little tip that. So that you, on here, you don't see it; it's, it's invisible. But there is a sixth window with just the audio. Okay, so. What I can do is I can make sure I've not got the um, link selection on, so I can just select the audio. So if I've got a picture, but I want the audio from a different clip, I can I can just right click on that, choose multi camera, and choose one of the other cameras. Or you know, so say you want the audio an interview, you've got a cutaway, you want the audio the picture to be one person, the audio to be another person. And if I do multi camera and switch to camera six, okay. It's the good sound. So, you know, I could cut all the clips and I could take these and I could go to multi camera, make them all camera six. And the picture still stays 
with my changes and if I want to change any of these to a different audio source I can I can swap them out in here okay by choosing different clips and that's still, but that still gives us just one track one stereo file but what if I want to do something where I can just keep all the audio from all the cameras and just switch the cameras around but just have all the audio files so that's our third option okay so I'm going to here I'm going to select this and I'm going to go create multi-camera source sequence and this time go to uh, all cameras okay So now we'll drop this on here. You'll see what we'll get. Okay, we've got everything. So it's going to sound like a real cacophony. But they're all synced up. They're all in time with each other. And when I do multi-camera switching, there you go. It's just switching the, the videos. The audio, you're going to just need to edit as you would edit normal audio tracks so we're just essentially doing a video multi-track and keeping all the tracks of audio okay so you might want to say do the video section and send the audio to uh, an audio editor to do the audio mix okay but what if i want to do an export now that's got all these audio tracks well if i just do a kind of h264 standard export it'll just it will just support stereo so i normally there's a few few formats that do this, but I'd normally go into here, export media. Okay, uh, and if I choose from my format options, I'm going to go with uh, the ProRes option. Okay. Uh, okay, and then in my different panels here, audio. Okay, it's normally set to two channels, stereo. But I can export this out with four, six, eight. So obviously I've got, if you look on here, I've got six tracks of audio. So I'd go for six channel. So that will give me an export that has standard video, but six channels of audio and I can open them up and they'd all be okay. And I can even if I want to have got, I've got uh, mono tracks. Okay. I can separate them out. Okay. And then you get more channels okay okay uh, okay so um so it'll take the stereo files and separate them out into two mono tracks so you've got even more control okay so i could do that and have something that's like fully editable in some sort of sound editing program and and there you go so that's your basic three options there for the different uh, kind of sound options on the premiere timeline with multicam okay so i hope that helps and thanks for watching